I don't think I've heard of that. Hell yeah. You don't heard of it? I don't think so. I should be good, right? I should be good, right, Chad? I can name like four carriers. Hey, hey, guys, so. How's it going? Good to see everybody. How's it going? How's it going? <laughs> well, guys, uh, what does your shirt say? It's just a time, uh, a T Rex. Okay. Just a T Rex. Can you read that? What does that say? Is that Japanese? It says, Do you yes. know what it says? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> my shirt says, uh, look at my shirt. Look at my shirt. Look at my shirt, guys. Drippy. Drippy. Like an ice cream. Yeah. Drippy like an ice cream. Taking it too serious now, huh? You recording us? I will be. <laughs> I like it. Uh, right now, yeah, right? Like, I do not give content. <laughs> Inside, I do not give content. As you're, as you're actively I like that everybody says that, right? Like, every night. I don't give like, content. I'm like, well, yeah, you're on the public streets. Good luck with that. I don't give consent. Consentology. W quality. Yeah, guys. You got the better quality. You guys know I always do it. You know how I do it. You know how I do it. Look at the little one. You should change to my carrier. <laughs> no, like cricket. You gotta get cricket. <laughs> you gotta get Metro. Is this a newer generation? It might be better, though. It might honestly be better. I think it doesn't help. I think it's not working, guys. I was really looking forward to getting a session. I guess not. <laughs> Land cable. Oh, yeah. For real. So that David Miscavige could tell uh, Tom Cruise what to do. It wants to move so bad. Seeing that. <laughs> I know, like um, that's so that you can plug in and uh, you could connect up to like a computer and another person in another room could see the reactions that were going on uh, and live. Yeah. And Is that live, what a CS would do? Like yeah, a supervisor? They could live see the reactions and then uh, an auditor could have an earpiece. Victoria. And they could be telling them, you need to like, you missed the read, you missed the reaction. Go back and dig into that. So in an auditing session, is it always the pre -clear You can buy it on the internet. And there's always a CS in the auditor's ear. Only sometimes, but all of it is videotaped unbeknownst to the person sitting there holding the cans. And it's all audio recorded. Like, you can't see what they're saying. Like, they're saying this and this and this. And you're like, oh, I'm not going to see that. Everything, right? Everything. Yeah, I need Everything. And also, when you're getting in the session, this is the best part. <laughs> this yeah, is the best part. You have to get comfortable. So you have to... <laughs> You have to unbutton your shoes. What? You gotta loosen up your bra. You gotta take off your shoes. So half the time, some guys can take off their pants. So you're, picture this, I just unbutton my pants on. <laughs> so, sometimes an adult man in their 40s would be getting a session from the auditor who's 15 year old girl. And they would like to get very comfortable for that session. So they would take off their entire pants because it's just too tight and they get sweaty. So they're sitting there in their boxers with no pants on, their shirt unbuttoned, you know, I've got to have the, the top of me hanging out. And then sit there staring into the eyes of a 15 year old girl who's been asked them intimate questions about their sex life, to which they are going to describe in detail all their crimes about that. That's yeah. disgusting. Standard tech. Standard tech. Were you an auditor? Um, I was what's called a word theorist. Oh, okay. It was so exciting. I got to sit in front of one of these things word in the girl. classroom and teach people how to use this magnificent Oh device. my god, you were a teacher. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, I have a lot of atonement to do for my crimes of mm -hmm. teaching many people how to use this. Yeah. Isn't it word clearing when you like go through a policy letter and like make sure you know the definition of each word? Sometimes. Oh, okay. Depends. It depends on what type. There's nine different types of word clearing. Yeah, Ed, we are. So you have to so you have to know which kind fits the person and what's happening with them. This goes so much deeper than I realized. <laughs> I was also a supervisor. So I did that too. Okay, supervisor? Or no, just in the portion. Got it. In got the it. portion, yeah. Got it. Yeah. What was your pay at the time? What was that? The pay. My pay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the pay! <laughs> Luxury! 30, 47 um, a week. Max. So when you start, because you're not what's called fully padded, um, you have to start at $35 a week. And then taxes get taken out of that. Because, you know, they got to pay the IRS. So you get $32.50 a week. And then once you do... Um, what's called the OEC Ball 1, or OEC Ball 0, which is the Organization Executive Course. These are the green volumes, it's administrative. Yeah, I do. Um, and you do the course materials for your job itself, whatever your job is. Then you're considered fully half. Then your pay gets bumped up to that. Also delicious, fifty dollars per week for Sierra members, which was established in 1968 as a standard of pay. Which would, in 1968, if you're getting fifty bucks a week, that was kind of like you could actually do some shit on fifty bucks a week, right? Like if you think of the difference, a, a car full of groceries in 1968 was like ten bucks. A tank of gas in 1968 was like $3. Okay, so $50 a week in 1968 is like the equivalent now for inflation of getting paid two grand a week. Right? <laughs> so that's not that's not the same thing. They never improved that. So it stayed exactly the same because that's what Elrond ever wrote. We can't change that. So, but you get taxes taken out of that, so you get $47.32 per week. That's when you got paid, though. Be, be, be honest. When you got paid, right, Serge? <laughs> yeah, don't be in lower conditions. Nope, don't get your pay then. Serge, or you get half pay. In this, what was your post in the CR? Yeah, yeah. I was a supervisor and an auditor. Oh, don't worry. Gotcha. No, no, no. Professional. Professional as <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Look at this face. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah, Serge looked like he. I did. I did. Look, he's going to audit you. Were you a. Uh, get to it. We're going to act it out. Look, he know even where the hole is at without even looking at the hole. That's how you know. I know, it only had the lid. He did it with the... Totally, I was not letting you see what I'm writing. You cannot see it. Right. very important that you don't see what I write. Because, God forbid. It's true. It's like they don't want you to see anything you write. Serge is going to get to work, guys. Yeah, guys, so the apparently the Wi-Fi is worse than the... Uh... Oh, yeah. It can't be sessionable. Wait, what happened? Why can't you be sessionable? Uh, because there's noise. <laughs> <laughs> there's two noises. What? <laughs> what? Hey, they they trying to oh, yeah. yeah they don't want Wait, my room's a mess. It's it's fine. It's leaving. Okay. Guys, you need to be quiet though. No service? No service. No Wi Fi is worse, I heard. Yeah. Right, Jess? So who's gonna get the session? Why are you guys well, I want my tripod in front of the bed, you weirdo. I want one. I want one. We're all waiting. We all have thousands of dollars. <laughs> what is it? Like 800 bucks an hour? Yeah, I got a pencil. Oh, the shot and only fans that got the tripod in front of the bed. This is actually gonna be our meeting. We've got the... <laughs>
What are you gonna do? So we're gonna get a seat on an auditing session? <laughs> Where are you gonna put that can? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that can? Right now. Is this the solo to the assist to demonstration? <laughs> Is that actually a thing that that means masturbation? God, God forbid. Are you made they that don't up? Say that. We made it. Oh. <laughs> we stress it on this face. Okay, so who's gonna go first? I want to. Go for it. Everybody's excited. I think you would use the other side, no? Are you sure? Am I on the other no, side? Yeah. Where do yeah, I go? Yeah, but, but here. Okay, you have to float the But no, no, no. Oh. You have to come here. So first, you have to establish control from the very beginning. <laughs> establish dominance. Oh, dominance. <laughs> Am I allowed to move? The session sign in here. In session, so no one can come in. I'm just gonna film. She can scream, she can shout, she can cry. No one is allowed to come inside under any circumstance. Damn. You cannot interrupt the session as a suppressive act to open the door. Once I go in session, I go (laughs) shut up. Like there cannot be a single Noise. Hi, come here. Even up with the drone out. So is this chair comfortable? No, but yes. Suppressive act. Okay, do you need a pillow or no, I'm what? Good. Okay. Actually. Do you have any tight clothes or shoes on? Can you close the door, Ken? Okay. No, no, no. No. You have any tight clothes or shoes on? No. I mean, okay. my bra, but does that well, count? Oh, yeah, you have to take off I'm your bra. I'm being You have to take off your bra. If your bra is tight, you have to take it off. I'm not taking it off. So, okay. We'll, we'll pretend that I took it off. Okay. Good. Here's your pants. Thank you. Is this room okay for you to get a session? Yes. Good. So, since the meter doesn't work, this is the needle, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Squeeze the cans, please. Thank you. Squeeze the cans, please. Okay, thank you. I mean, shake up your hands until your fingers are loose and floppy. Shake it. Thank you. So I want you to do a gradual increase of pressure until a light squeeze is achieved and then relax your grip. Squeeze the cans, please. Thank you. Take a deep breath, hold it for just a moment and let it out through your mouth. Good. Are you hungry? No. Good, are you tired? No. Good, how many hours of sleep did you get? Four. Four? Okay, then you can't get a session. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <Hold on. laughs> I failed already. Cam's okay. turn. Come on, Cam. So, next, do you want to Cam. give me a... I'm like, I'm lucky if I got four. Okay, well. Oh, my bad. <laughs> From the beginning. Oh, yeah. I think y'all should bring the sign, too. Y'all should bring the sign, too. The in session. Okay. I can look at it. Yeah, probably. Where's the in session? How many hours sleep are you supposed to get? Like, eight? Because you guys hey. didn't get eight. I got like 16. (laughs) Now, also when you put in session, this is a camera right here, and that is a camera right here. This camera is going to show the case supervisor, who would be like, let's say over here. There's going to be a TV here, where the case supervisor is here, and I'm going to listen to everything that's going on over there. But this person doesn't know who this person is. So nobody knows. Everything's compartmentalized. <laughs> He's in an ivory tower. It's called. Yes, it's that. Okay, you can come. Okay. Out. So let's get you comfortable. Is this chair comfortable for you? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to sit back? No. Do you need a, Do you need something for to put the cans here? Do you want to put them here? Yes, sir. Why not? Okay. Yes. Do you have any tight clothes or shoes on? No. Are your jeans tight at all? No. Do you need to loosen them up? I'm good. Unzip your face? <laughs> no. I'm are you sure? Oh my god, those are real questions. Oh yeah. Holy fuck. Well, because like, okay, like, because for example, I'm going to give them the cans, okay? Why am I nervous right now? And let's I say, was t- And let's say that I give him the cans, and if this goes to here, that means he's got tight stuff. We'll later. So even if you don't think they're tight... You know what? We need to figure out what's going on with your pants. Like, 
You need to unzip them. Just unzip like the bottom and like this. And that's what you have to have. <laughs> <laughs> No, you have to, you have to do that. It's so otherwise, the, the e not gonna work. Zip. All right. Good. Thank you. Next time's not free. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm realized they're asking children this. They're asking. Doesn't matter who you are. Once the session sign is on, that's all that matters. Okay. So we're gonna do a. We're gonna check um, the sensitivity. So I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to squeeze the cans. Squeeze the cans, please. Thank you. Squeeze the cans, please. Thank you. Squeeze the cans, please. I did it last time. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but we have to set you up okay, okay. with the sensitivity. We need to check your sensitivity to the machine. So <laughs> we need to do a gradual increase of pressure until a light squeeze is achieved and then relax it. Okay. Squeeze the cans, please. Thank you. Okay, so take a deep breath, hold it for just a moment, and let it out through your mouth. Okay, so we didn't get enough metabolism. It wasn't really a deep breath. You need, I need you to like actually take a deep breath, okay? But we can't do it now because we just checked it, and it's not going to be valid. Well, but well, what did you eat? Uh, pasta. pasta. Did you have any protein? Yeah, I had beans in my pasta. Anything else? Did you have any chicken? Did you have any kind of like pr actual protein? Yeah, there, was, there was shrimp in there. Shrimp? Yeah. Just shrimp like beans and pasta? How much? How, How much, much shrimp? 30 to 40 pieces. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, then let's check the metal again, okay? Okay. So take a deep breath. Hold it for just a moment and let it out to your mouth. Good. Are you tired? No. Good. Um, how many ounces did you get? Eight. Good. Um, are you hungry? I'm not. Okay. Um, is there any reason not to have a session? No. Thank you. This is the session. So we're going to check your rudiments. All right. Let's do okay. It. Do you have an ARC break? On the question, do you have an ARC break? Has anything been suppressed? Do you have an ARC break? ARC break is if, if you're upset. Just so that people know what I'm asking. Um, I'm a little upset. You're a little upset? Okay, what happened? Tell me. Uh, somebody sat me down and told me to unzip my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> so if his needle goes like this, that means it's dirty. And that means he just made a critical statement about me. About this was a critical statement about the auditor. Anytime he's critical of me, I'm gonna be like, well, thank you for telling me that, okay? But let me just check something else. Have I failed to find out something about you? No. Have I failed to find out something about you? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, take a look. Take a look and see if there's anything I have failed to find out. What's that you're looking at right there? What's that? What's that you're thinking about? Mm -hmm. What's coming to mind right now? Something I failed to find out? Something I didn't discover? What is that? What are you looking at? Okay, so I'm going to repeat the question okay. and see if there's anything that I have failed to find out about you. Something you're not telling us. Okay. Something you're withholding, something you don't want us to know. There. That. What is that? What could it be that you're withholding? Um, I don't know. Okay, so have you done something perverted that you don't want us to know about? <laughs> <laughs> I just spent a lot of time in my room. Okay, and then you can you can just for the purpose of this demonstration you can just say bananas and apples. Yeah, you know I mean? like like you just thing. use use right. that to oh, okay yeah 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 to switch up. <laughs> right, 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 right. But, but know that we're not talking a lot of banana. Okay. So so yeah okay so you're spending a lot of time in your room. What are you doing in your room? What are you doing there? Um, that's that's personal. Okay, so Cam, I'm, I'm going to need to show you a reference from that one cover that says <laughs> you cannot have a single withhold because otherwise our intelligence is not going to work. You have to be honest. You have to tell what you don't want to you don't want uh, to be known about. You. Okay, all right, perfect. So do you see what that one cover says here? Yeah. Do you understand this? Yeah, I do. Okay, I would love you to actually demonstrate to me why you should not have a withhold. So 
I'm gonna grab the cans from you and show me that you understand what I just had you read. Just go like this and you have to go, okay, so if this is me and I have a withhold and I don't want people to know that I have a withhold and my sessions are not working. So you have to use these things to show me that you really understood what I just showed you. You lost me in withhold. <laughs> so withhold is the thing that you don't want known about you. Okay. So since we were checking, like if you've done something perverted, you could yeah. be like, so if I did something perverted here and I'm like going session and then I'm like, oh, I'm not going to think about that and I'm not going to tell my auditor that, then, then the, the session's not going to work. So that's kind of how you have to. Right. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so just pretend that you did that. Cause I guess that you're like, okay, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So do you understand this concept now? Yes, I do. Okay, great. So let's take a look. Something that you've done that's um, that you don't want anyone to know. Something perverted you did. You you were saying about being in your room. What about being in your room? Uh, bananas and apples and oranges. Thank you. Yeah. So tell me exactly what you did with the banana. Feel it. <laughs> Feel it. It's a long story. It's hard for me to sit down now, but um, it was like. <laughs> you peeled it, bro. Huh? You peeled it. Oh, yeah. Shh. <laughs> We're in a session. Yes. <laughs> this sign is on the door. <laughs> so maybe that's the front of the back, Chris. Yeah, so um, <laughs> you'll be audited next. Yes. <laughs> a woman came and gave me uh, a banana. And, uh, <laughs> Oh, I see uh, licking his lips. I done like. <laughs> we're in a session, please. Um, I I peeled the banana and uh, yeah. <laughs> I peeled it and ate it. Thank you so much for telling me that. <laughs> Thank you very much for telling me about that. Okay. Um, when was that that you did this? Uh, ten minutes ago. The, oh, right before you came in touch. Yeah. Got so it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So now, is that all of the withhold? Yes, in the last 20 minutes, yes. Okay, now I'm gonna check this. If his needle goes like this, that means he has a dirty needle and that means there's more that I need to check. Okay, well let's take another look at this situation about the banana and then let's see if there's any detail that you're leaving out by any chance. Anything else there to the banana? No. <laughs> take another look. No. Take good. another look. Let's just see if there's anything else. Something else with an apple, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Mm. Did you think of something there? Mm. What was that? Uh, what was that? Long story. <laughs> okay, so we really want you to come clean and honest, because that's going to make you have a lot of wins, okay? <laughs> yeah, so please tell me what you did exactly from beginning to end, every detail, and see if there's something else to this withhold. Let, let's go over it again. Okay. So, what happened with the banana? Now tell me what, what happened with the apple too. The apple, um, I, uh, I ate the apple, and then um, a woman came in and told me to eat the apple, so I ate another apple, and uh, there was like five apples that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Thank you very much for telling me that. You're welcome. <laughs> Is that all of the withhold? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Have you justified that withhold? Have you made less of it? In the last 10 minutes, yes. How did, so what kind of justification do you have? Um, I'm gonna be moving on to mangoes instead. Good. <laughs> How else did you justify it? Um, uh, best pulls not proof now. Thank you. How else did you justify it? Um, uh, only only once a week now instead of once a week. <laughs> Thank you. Is there any other way you justified it? No, not that I can think of. Very good. Now, who almost found out what you did with this banana and apple? Who almost found out about it? Yeah, it was a very short man. I think he goes by the name of uh, Mr. Scavage. He walked by and uh, he saw me eating he asked the banana. Me and then when I said no, he wasn't too pleasant. Thank you. Is there anything else that Mr. Miscavige did to make you wonder whether or not he knew? 
Well, he, he looked into my room. He was standing on a milk carton. <laughs> he wasn't tall enough to see in, so he did that and he looked at me. When we made eye contact, it got really awkward and he looked at me, so I kind of felt embarrassed and put the apple away. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else that Mr. Miscavige do to make you wonder whether or not he knew? Um, no, no. He just gave me a bunch of Tom Cruise movies to watch and I felt uncomfortable. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Very good. Now, who else missed it? Um, there was this guy, uh, I don't know, he was an actor, and uh, uh, Joanne Tra- Travolta, I think. <laughs> I don't believe, I don't remember his name, but he, he's kind of a, a, he's bald, he's a bald man. He told me he used to find this uh, this movie called Oil, or Grease, it was Grease. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so he walked by when this guy was watching me do those acts and uh, he said something about like lightning speed or something and uh, he started singing and it really made me feel uncomfortable. Thank you. Yeah. And now just so you guys know, over here would be a legal sheet of paper where I'm writing as he's saying everything he says, I'm writing it like this. I'm just, okay, thank you. What else did Mr. Miscavige do? <laughs> I'm literally like, <laughs> literally like this, and I'm not allowed to look at my handwriting. Oh my God. I'm not allowed to, I'm just supposed to like keep my attention on him, but I have to have everything that he's saying written. I did something with a banana, I did something with an apple, I did it here, Mr. Miscavige. All these names are having to be mango. written. Yep. Full record. Great. Okay, well, is there anybody else who missed it? No. Thank you very much. Your needle is floating. Woo! No, 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 no I didn't say that. Oh, God. We just finished the one part. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. We're now going to go into the actual set. This was just the rudiment. Oh, wow. So the rudiment is these three questions that they check on you. Do you have an ARC break? So you have an upset, do you have a present time problem, or do you have a withhold? And because you were critical of me, we just handled a withhold. But we also had a read on ARC break and you said you were something, you were upset about something. Right. So now that you that I found out that you were doing stuff with bananas and apples, mm-hmm. and we cleaned that to floating needle, right. now we have to come back. So let's go back to the ARC break you were telling me. Right. So, are you still ARC broken about that? Oh, no. Does that still answer your the question? Yeah. Are you upset about something? Do you have an ARC break? Mm, I'm moved on. Oh, you moved on? Yeah. Okay. So let me check something here. Okay. Has someone said you had an ARC break when you didn't have one? On the question, has someone said you had an ARC break when you didn't have one? Has anything been suppressed? Has someone said you had an ARC break when you didn't have one? No. Okay, so... You just told me that you moved on from that, so couldn't that kind of be like, you're the one that told it. Oh, sure, yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So who said it? You. Thank you, and what did I say? Uh, I was secret. Good. Your needle is floating. Something like that's floating. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. So now we're gonna go to this next set uh, part of the session. Okay? okay. Great. So we're gonna do a process on communication. Yep. And we're first gonna check some things on the e meter. Okay. All right. A prostitute. A homeless man. A police officer. A teacher? Okay. So we're going to take up the first one. Sorry. Okay? So what does this question mean to you? Mm. If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? Uh, $5 take or lose it. No, what is, it, what is just the actual question? Mean oh. to you? If you could <laughs> talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? Now, by the way, I'm not supposed to ever move. I'm supposed to be on a chair, and I'm supposed to never literally sit, but I have to, like, I have to change. <laughs> so just, that's a side note. Okay. So, yeah. And, and you would never have him high and me low. Never. Like, You're in power. I'm literally supposed to be over here. Towering over? 
like at least here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we're not, I'm never supposed to do, but you know, this is the this is the table we have right now. Right. So okay, so yes. So what does that question mean to you? If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? That question is, uh, is dirty to me. It's not relevant to uh, my beliefs. Okay, but you know what? Here's our one Hubbard. Okay. See what our one Hubbard says right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you not understand a word that our one Hubbard said here? Because if you have a disagreement, then it means you have a misunderstood word. Oh, okay. I, I didn't get that the first time. Okay, great. Okay, we're good now. You get it? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to check the question again. So what did this question mean to you? If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? Um, the question is interesting. It's very interesting to me. That, uh, it might uh, interest me to talk about the question more and go into the question. Okay, but can you just answer to me like what the actual question just means, like just by itself? Like the, what is the question, if you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? What does that question just mean? Like just by itself. Like, I just want to check. I just want to make sure that you understand what the question is asking for. So, in your own words, what does that mean? What does the question mean? Uh, answer the question, or how does it mean? No, just what does it mean to you? If you could talk to a prostitute, what could you talk about? What does that question mean to you? Weird. A weird. So I get that it's weird, but, yeah. but no one Hubbard did say that we needed to clear we to say, man. any communication. <laughs> so just tell me like, oh, so if I was to ever talk yeah, to a prostitute, what could I possibly uh, talk about? Like uh, you could just say something like that and that answer is this. Okay. Okay. So, but, uh, but just as you get frustrated like this, imagine you're a child and you don't know what it meant. Hell! I'm 23 like, I still don't know what it means. Go rest. <laughs> well, there you go. So, okay. So now you get it? Yes. Yeah, okay, so just parrot it back to me. Like, so what does this question mean to you? If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? If I could talk to a prostitute, what would I talk about is very uncomfortable. Okay, so I'm going to answer for him because he clearly doesn't get it. I don't get so it. So what does this question mean to <laughs> you? If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? I'd like to phone a friend. S. Three. Oh, that would mean that if I was literally in a conversation with a prostitute, what would I say to the prostitute? My arm hurts. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Now, what does this question mean to you? Hmm. If you were talking to a prostitute about that, what would you say exactly? Do I have to repeat the whole thing again? Am I in jeopardy or something? <laughs> you just have to... Prostitute just... for 500. I don't know. I don't, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Well, that would mean like if we I actually do get to speak to a prostitute, what well, would I actually go up to the prostitute? Oh, look who shut up. You're in the session, so you have to be very quiet. Quiet! Yeah, all right. So, okay. So I'm going to now check the questions. Alrighty. If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, we're going to actually run this process. Do it. If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? Um, what she likes to eat, where she likes to go after work. Um, <laughs> silence. Uh, maybe. Thank you. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. That's perfect. fine. Just one answer. That's, okay. That's enough. All right. Let's go. Wait. So if you were talking to a prostitute about that, so mm -hmm. what she likes to eat, whatever. Yeah. What would you say exactly? Um. Do you know they have really great bananas down at the, uh, the store? <laughs> Buy free, get one free, and uh, all that, and uh, you could you look a little bit on there, so if we can get some fruits and vegetables, it would be a lot better. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? Now, this is going to go on and on and on and on. Like, I'm just going to answer, ask him those questions repeatedly, nonstop, until guess what? Mm. You go, oh my god. I want to, what, intercourse with a prostitute? Is that what you're saying? No. You, you need to have a cognition, <laughs> right? And cognition. Sin, cognition is like something you realize as a result of being oh, okay. tortured, basically. Okay. So you're supposed to have a cognition. You're supposed to go, oh my god, my whole life I didn't want to talk to prostitutes because we're so shy, but now. You know, who cares? They're just a human. Right. Okay, so exactly. something like that. So imagine that we've just gone on and on and on, like this question over and over repeated ad nauseum. If you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? 
If you could talk to a prostitute about that, what would you say exactly? And now, let's say that we've run this for 20 minutes and you get really exasperated and you're just like, oh my God, I think I want to leave. I think I'm just like, this is, you know, just act, you know, really like exasperated. Okay, so if you could talk to a prostitute, what would you talk about? Um, I don't, uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I think I'd like to uh, leave the session now. Okay, I'm trying to leave. Okay, Cam, no. It's very important that you stay seated, okay? We're going through session. You cannot move or leave until you're told that you can leave. So we're going to finish this session, and you're going to feel better, okay? But you cannot... You cannot leave the room until we tell you that you can leave the room. And we really need to flatten this process because something is being stimulated in your head right now. And that's why you're feeling horrible. Okay? So we need to continue with the process. Okay? Okay. So no matter how exasperated, you can squeal, you can yell, you can say, help, get me out of here. No one's going to hear you, because remember, we already put the in-session sign. <laughs> no one can come and get you. Doesn't matter how much of a breakdown you have, if you have an anxiety panic attack, you're just stuck with this. Okay? So, we're going to continue the process. So, let's say we continue and continue and continue. And then, you literally have to go have a cognition about it. Okay? So, so, if you could talk to a prostitute, what would you say exactly? And you just say, you want to know, you know something? I just think I realized something, you know, like that. Right, right. You know what? I, I think I just realized that this whole session has made me, made me clear my mind more of what I actually would say if I actually did talk to a prostitute. Wow. Thank you very much. No problem. Your needle is floating. Ooh. Okay. So, we're going to be ending session shortly. Finally. Is there anything you would like to say or ask before I end the session? No, no, there is not at all. Thank you. Thank you. End of session. Woo! Yeah. Hip hip. Let's go, guys. I'm moving up. Only 160,000 more to the next one. So, jokes on you. We actually brought a real life prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> no, and the prostitute is literally a. Real process question. that they have. It's called the process of oh. communication and they do yeah. a list of people that would be hard to communicate with. So they put like prostitute, police officer, or whatever. And you're supposed to be like engaging the person over and over and over, and over through all this repetition yeah. until they say Snap. that they, oh, I, now I'm great at communicating or whatever. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that a real one? <laughs> mm -hmm. Out of session. In session. If this is on the door, no one can come in. The LAPD cannot come in. Turn it. No one can come in. The fire department? No one. <laughs> Period. Like, this is the most sacred important thing about Owen Hubbard. It's like, never interrupt the session, no matter what. When this goes like that, and I mean, look, it even says, there's one tech, and that is standard tech. How much it was it? 10K? <laughs> Results are obtained by standard tech, LRH. I mean, oh, so everything's video? like, this is a technology, everything's technological, you're being checked, you're being processed, you're being whatever, so it's all a scam. Good demonstration, Serge. Yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> So, any questions? Um, it about clears it up. Uh, how much would something like this cost? So Eight hundred bucks an hour. Like, if you go to the Florida place, it's the most expensive. Oh, 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 yeah. So that flag. Would up flag is like seven hundred and fifty dollars for this lower things so, because this is a basic process. This is grade zero. So this is like it's like the bottom. Yeah. Wow. So, oh, this is great Cause, zero. Because what's it called? Like I heard they have like intense auditing sessions or something. No, it's called intensive. So intensive is twelve and a half hours that you buy. Wow. So twelve and a half hours that runs you up at like about seven hundred and fifty dollars. But also depends on how you buy them because they always have packages. Mm -hmm. So every week, oh, buy the get up to clear package this week so and, and now we're gonna discount everything at forty dollars uh forty percent off and if you buy five or more then you get a bigger discount so it's whatever if you the more you buy the bigger the discount always 
Like there's always like sliding scales and buy it before Thursday. This is never gonna happen again. There's like all like hardcore like hard sell yeah. on making you buy it and telling you like, oh my God, you're gonna have 50 hours on account. You're gonna have 50 hours to go clear and you're just buying 50 hours locked up in a room with a person asking you anything and everything that is in the books of Disgusting L. Ron Hubbard. And some, a lot of the times the auditors are children. Or, or well, minors. it can be. It can be. I mean, you know, just the fact that it happens, you know, it's like when I was at Flag, there was a lot of minors. There was a lot of us doing it, and that's what also normalized that culture. But not every minor could do it. There were minors that were not literally able to do it. There were minors that were just not cut out for that, so they were like sent to like wash the dishes or do some other stuff. Hey, Cam. How did you feel? How did I feel? Uh, There's a fitness no, I could imagine being <laughs> fucking 10 or 12 years old in that. I probably would have cried and asked my mom if I was that age. Yeah. And they're even younger. Well, but imagine you go to your mom and says, I hated the auditing, and then and your mom like, goes, oh, Writes a KR hold on, on you. let me write it up to your K supervisor. Oh and guess God. where you go? Right back. Right back. Right back. <laughs> wow. And that gets even worse, because now we're like, oh, why didn't you like it? Now it's just interrogation. The more time. interrogation, more heavy. Like, anytime you're resisting it, you're That's getting go harder. Wow. You're getting harder. Right. Anytime you're like, oh my god, this is amazing. Oh my god, I love it. Then it's like, oh yes, you're going up the bridge. Right. So, and, oh, and then after we finish here, then you have to go to another room, okay? Like a completely different room. Like, now Jessica's gonna be your examiner. She's gonna be called the examiner. And all you're gonna do is you're, oh, gonna, not you're not gonna do much. <laughs> Come here, Cam, I'm gonna take you to the examiner after the session. God, here we go. And then so so realize that we just left like like floor four and now we're going to floor three where Jessica's just sitting there all day. All she does is people are brought to her and then okay. Sit down, bitch. No. <laughs> And then you're just, you don't say anything. You're not allowed to say anything. And all you do is... That's right, bitch. <laughs> like, okay, so give him the cans. Give him the cans. And sit, and sit down so you... Can we use a truly can So now you, you sit here. Okay. And you... Oh, my God. What the heck? Continue. Okay. So now you're going to be... And, and you're not gonna tell him anything. He's just gonna sit there. You can tell him like, oh my God, my session was so amazing. I really loved it. And you're just checking his needle. His needle. Because if his needle's not floating here, <laughs> then he's gonna get a red tag and he has to go back with me immediately. You know what, the needle, needle doesn't look like it's flowing, to be honest. <laughs> oh my God, so now you're red tag. I have to go back and get a correct right. needle. <laughs> out of your research. <laughs> go ahead. So basically they, they just go like this. Like Sorry. you just sit there mm -hmm. and then I go like this. And I'm just gonna stare at you. And wow. I'm just like writing what the needle's doing. Because I'm like in the meantime I'm writing needle this, needle that, whatever. So you can say something if you want, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna prompt you. I'm not allowed to prompt you at all. So if you want to say something you can say it if it's not and sometimes you have to like you know, again, it's like, they, they really want to hear you. Oh my God, I had the biggest session. It was so amazing. It was so wonderful. It was so incredible. So that's how you got your needle to flow. Oh, wow. great, your needle's floating, you know? Because mm -hmm. sometimes you go there and it's like, it's so awkward. You're just sitting with someone that's staring at this needle and you're just like, what the fuck? And it's like, that's what makes you not have the floating needle. Mm -hmm. And then you learn quickly that you have to go back. So then you have to learn quickly to be like, oh no, that was Sorry, great. That was amazing. amazing. Best <laughs> I'm time of my life. Communicating so well now. Almost so you have to like world. always. Everything is hype, right? Because like right. everything. Is, oh my God, this is this is amazing! Like wow, Elbert right. Hubbard, you're such a genius. So everything is. Amazing. Everything like is you're that. excited. Oh my God, it's so amazing! Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Oh my God, I love this. I love this. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, thank you. Your needle is floating. Oh my god. And now you're like passed, and now you're like, oh my god, thank god, I'm not gonna love the bus. Alright, fuck this. <laughs> so I guess yeah. done. Any other questions? How many hours of auditing until you reached clear? Or so, you would say like roundabout. Yeah, a roundabout, I mean okay, so let's say you go through objectives, that should be about like 200 hours, 250, that's first. 
Then you have to do ARC spray wire. That's like 50 hours. Chris, thank you for the session. Of course. That will not be Write a success back. story. I, will <laughs> not hear, I want to see it. Will not be coming back, by the way. <laughs> 300. Then um, ARC spray wire. Then you have to do a drug rundown. Depending on how many drugs you've done in your life, that will wow. run you up to like 50 hours to 75 hours. Then you have to do grade zero, which is what we were doing now, which could be like, that's a, it's got a ton of questions and processes on that one, so that could be like about, depending on a 50 hours, 75 hours, grade one, another 50 hours, grade two, that's the overs and the withhold, so that one's got a very long interrogation thing to it, so that one's more like 100 hours. Grade three is short, because they're just talking to you about changes. Grade four, they're talking to you about fixed ideas. And then uh, NED, which is the where you get your engrams removed, uh, to go clear, that should really take about, you know, 100 <clears throat> to 150 hours at least. It could go to more, but it's like, so I mean, all in all, it's like, you're talking hundreds and hundreds and wow. hundreds of hours just so spent on a chair years. with these things. It, it could take you years. I mean, that's why people go to these hotels, right? Because they're there full time and they're wow. like, yeah, finish, finish. Like, and then you're there eight hours and you're feeling like you're progressing up a bridge. And, you know, every time you finish one of these things, there's a graduation on Friday. Oh, <laughs> come get your certificate and your flowers. So everyone's like, oh, yay. ECQ just finished. <laughs> <laughs> Here, your certificate, and then, okay, go tell everyone your wins. Like, you just finished grade zero. Tell everyone Yeah, easy Q. Yeah, um, easy Q, I just finished grade zero, yeah. Mostly. What did you tell them when you got out of it? Just start something shit out. Um, oh I, I, I feel like oh, a better shoot. person. I Who's that? Realize I saw the guy who was my camera, uh, like the, the guy with long hair. Um, I'm a better oh, person. Uh, the thedons are now removed from my body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and everyone's like, oh my god, yes! Hey, you know? Yeah, that happened to me too. Like, yeah, my god, this is something. And then, okay, thank you to LRH! Yay! Yeah, LRH. So, and this is always the same, never different. Everyone's just on a big, hyped up state. Like, this is amazing, this is so great, we're doing so great, we're all doing it. Are you, where are you in the great chart? Where are you in the. They're all asking each other, oh, he's grade two, oh, you're grade three, oh, you're clear, oh my god, you're, you're the better one of all of them. <laughs> you two are like, where'd higher. You, where'd you get on the bridge? Clear. Oh, clear. clear at age, what was I, I think I just turned, four, I was 14. Oh my god. You never did the OT levels though? No. Mm. no. Clear AF. Wait. Clear AF. I became clear that I was like, fuck, I don't want to do this shit anymore. Wait, but, at clear, <laughs> you've already <laughs> reached a state where... If you don't have in a reactive the, mind. In the next life, you're going to remember the past life, right? I mean, they never tell you, they never oh. guarantee anything, right? It's like, it's all about like, well, what, what do, what, how do you feel? <laughs> it's always like, what is your ability? Okay, okay. You know, so it's all like self-deluded, right? Because it's like, well, I feel I'm great. I feel I'm this, I'm feeling that. So it's always like, well, how do you feel about it? Well, you know, we can tell you how to feel. Mm. So you have to like... They're always getting you to blur it out. That way you convince yourself that, oh yeah, that's my reality because I did say that. So it's always like, you know, just trained to lie yeah. because num number one, you get rewarded as you complete these levels. Like there's a lot of hype and a lot of like, my God, I really accomplished something. Even though it was horrible, there's this idea that I went through this really horrible thing, but I did get a certificate and then everyone was like, oh my God, you're so great that you finished that. It was worth it. It was worth it. And then you spend the money and then you just like, you don't want to be like, oh my God, I just spent 20 grand on nothing. No, I got something a lot out of it. You know, so it's always like that. There's so many mechanisms in place so that you're always in this state of hype, self-hype. Mm -hmm. You're always self-hyping, self-hyping. And if you're not, then they're grabbing you and torturing you, right? Because it's like, if you're like, ah, oh, you know what, I don't want to do Scientology anymore. Oh, you need to go to ethics. Before you used to want to, now you don't. Something's so, wrong. There's all, oh, now you need to do a course. Oh, you don't want to because your parents don't want to have you here. Oh, your PTS. Oh, let's have you do a course that's going to fix it. They're always having a, you're always fixing it with the thing. And it's always just complete bullshit. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Yep. All right. Thank you for the demo. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, La Poubelle Autology. Yeah, La Poubelle. Hey. Hey. Just got a good hey. opening demonstration. Yeah, yeah guys, I would have done it, but 30, it was like 30 minutes.
we gotta go. I gotta go. I'll meet you guys over there, alright? <laughs> I think I'm gonna end it on Slim Waist and Cuffs. Man. Who's Slim Jim? No. I heard it's like very active at La Pubelle right now. I heard it's very active. Very, very active? Very. <laughs> they say the Motley Crew. Oh, did they call you? Did she call Am I getting it? Yeah. For real? Okay. We'll see you over there. For real? Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. I'm just right there. See, man. See that. Fake news. It is going to get wild. I just know it. I think I'm going a, I'm to a end the live from like this because it's like a total different yeah. topic. So I'm going to end the live, guys. I'm going to end it just when I get there, I'll be live, guys. All right? I don't even care. Like it up, though. I honestly don't even care about like... I forgot what door it is, man. Oh, it's this one. Oh, I got some things I need to get. Man. Okay. Chai is lying. Yeah, you guys are such liars. I guess let me just drive there. I'll just drive. No, I'm talking about you. I'll be over there um, at the. Uh... Everything is peaceful, okay? Over there. No, they did say the other the guy is there. The guy that's Matt Count's phone. I think so, yeah. I guess we'll find out when we get there, because you all spread too many lies, man. No rush, take your time. Not like if I wasn't already. Oh, yeah, PPA. Damn, it's dark as hell in here. How's everybody doing? Um, I'm doing good. I don't know about other people, but I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm still in the apartments, by the way, guys. Before y'all tell me, oh, flip the camera, flip the camera, flip the camera, flip the camera. All right. Did Jessica leave? Yeah. She's still mad at you? She's not mad at me. She never mad at me. And you know I flipped that right back as soon as that happened.
POA at the pool are waiting for y'all. Man, it's early still. I mean, guys, if you think about it, we be leaving till like it closes, so. That's at least eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one. That's five hours from now. That's a lot of hours. I've been live for five hours already, no? My car's right here, by the way. We good? Really, though? I think I low-key need to get a, like a drink or something. Electrolyte drink or whatever. BOA doing check work or right. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Might need to handle some business at some point. Mm -hmm. <sighs> like it up guys, 900 people. There were a thousand people. I was a, I was about to, I was about to flip the camera and be like, hey guys, this is not continuing until we get this many more likes. There was like a thousand people and like a hundred likes earlier. Hell no. But I appreciate you guys. Showing love after, you know. You yelling at DOA. DOA has drinks and snacks, like not electrolytes, not the drinks I want. I think I have some water here. Damn, I feel dehydrated. Look, I got some, uh, I got some covers for the drinks, whatever. You like take one, probably tape them each. Cover your drinks if you need it. Damn, this is why it tastes like. Thanks for doing that. It was cool. Yeah, I wanted to go too. Is that a Jess? The funny thing is that I only had the good, good, um, I was the only one there that had good connection. That was a funny, that was, that was a funny thing to me. Is Dio already live streaming? ATT on top. It's actually cricket. He's been there for three hours. Well, I've been since 1 p.m., so I've already been live basically for like eight hours. You guys want to talk about somebody putting in time? Look at me. Go to DOA, yeah. I want to see you. I want to see you get to work as many hours as I... And I'm still ready to go the whole night, but... Relax, I got to chill sometimes too. You want to talk hours? I'll show you the hours. Look at my lives. Hmm. Just eating all, all stream, but I'm there. You see, Jamie even taking a break. Good luck tonight. I'm taking a break myself. Bye bye, guys. <laughs> that is what I'm just saying, guys. You guys, you guys are saying that like, like if I don't already, you know, you're like go to DOA. I I just emergency rushed DOA yesterday. Relax. Just take a break. I might just um, chill for like an hour and go there. Um, I can't be watching the live. I know Jess, just get some uh, snacks, chill for like 15 minutes, and then I'll go. I'll, I'll be there, though. 
probably end the live right now. Ridiculous how people want to tell y'all what to do. When we're here every single night, right? Monday through Sunday. Playing more work hours than Sebastian nowadays. Go to a spa instead? For what? Yeah, we're going to take you guys to something random y'all don't even want to see at all. That's what I'm going to do. You're going to get bigger. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If you subscribe, you go ahead. Whoops, you need a day off. If you can, we will be there. The OS channel is, um, at the lore of DOA. What's up? Yeah, I'm leaving right now. I think he said, um, fuck. He's asking me about it. I am leaving, man. I am. I, I said I am leaving. You're what? I am leaving. I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just want to wait because somebody will try to snake this. Ah, okay, man. Go Appreciate ahead. You. Yeah. Go to restaurants. Fight? For real? I kind of wanted to just kind of U-turn, you know, but... But if you let me... People just keep messing with DOA. Yeah, because he's the only one there too, but... I get tired, guys. I, I need to relax because... I might end up getting sick. Real sick, but all right, guys. I'll be a oh, man. I just I hate that I have so many people, but it's okay. It's cool. Who cares? I mean, I do care, but at the same time, just subscribe. You know, I'll be up, have your bell notification, and just hop on back. So I'm just gonna get a couple snacks. I need. I feel like I need that electrolyte drink real quick, and yeah. All right, guys. I'll be back. Whew. Yeah, coconut water, little electrolyte, handle some business, recharge, yeah. Take a deep breath. Is Jess going straight? See, Jess wasn't even alive, so I don't even know. But yeah, I guess I'll find out and see. I'll be back, guys. The OA attacked again. Oh, my God. You see? Sergio's phone and Scotty's phone. Bro, tonight is going to be a mess, bro. Tonight is going to be a mess. I'm already knowing Guys, nothing's going on. So both phones, every every phone getting hit. I think there needs to be a mass crowd. Which there will be, but... I'm just gonna come into the the way. Come on, guys. I'm on my way there, but this guy's going 15 miles per hour. What the fuck are you doing, dude?
It's Nasi Yoro. It's like a, <laughs> even it's Nasi Yoro getting. A, we're all getting attacked, man. People are starting to dislike going against a bar or a restaurant, whatever. And every person that go out of there and in there, they, they all like the same person. Two different people. Serge and Sergio, yeah, two different people. I knew that. Do you always follow me? Where's he at? Where's he at? Mothership Town. His hands utter. Go help Sergio and DOA. M mods, if y'all see any misinformation, like from the chat especially, just freaking... I'm even letting you guys... It's up to you, but I'm even giving you the green light now, banning them, man. That's what you guys are going to get from now on. DOA attacked again. So where are they at? I know, I know, I saw that. Where are they at? Nothing major now, people are saying. And you guys are making it seem like it's major, so. I don't know. They are following him. That's ma that's kind of major. Look, Leah. At the grocery store? Like the street up, so in Bronson? They're going up Bronson? Going down Bronson, so towards the Celebrity Center? He punched Nazi. Now it's a punch. Somebody says nothing major. Other people say it's a punch. Captology. This is almost starting to name it Captology. Sure you. Look at when I stop at a 7 Eleven or what? Is that a green light? Nobody's getting attacked right now. Your precious cargo. I'm trying. your snacks chat is annoying cause finally arrived so we gotta we got action they're on holy ray so how are they at the restaurant but they are walking that makes no sense your master's house Solomon was getting skittle so he's safe yeah guys I'm just confused now at this point you guys are just confusing me Guys, you guys are not helping if you guys are say DOA is following the guy. You guys should say at least the direction or something. That's not helping at all. At least say where? North of Bronson. So they went up that Bronson Street. Maybe probably like a block or two up now? Just up? Go to the restaurant. You see? Can't even chill in peace. I 
Danny Masterson's house? Yeah, I don't know where Danny Masterson used to live. So he lived like two blocks away from there or what? By the looks of it. Right, I'm, on, I'm on Bronson. I don't want more mods, guys. I already get a lot of complaints. Why is it wrong that we are telling you? Because you guys are saying a bunch of misinformation. Look. Scientology is a code, guys. It's a code. Ah, oh, yeah, they know. All right, so I see no cops. I think the funny thing is, and then I see a big crowd, a lot of streamers, safely streaming. So I don't know what the hell you guys are panicking about. And they're way up there. So just up Bronson, I'll see them. I'll see them. They're on the hill. So you're just going up? Just going up? Because you're not you when you're hungry. I just hate like bad directions. I'm the best at directions, guys. And you, but you give me a. Yeah, way up Harley Ridge. Guys, I'm just going straight Bronson. You guys say go up Bronson. That's all you guys said. Following the bad guy. So up Bronson. I'm still going up Bronson. We're going to turn on Harley Ridge. Is this Holly Ridge? No, this is Canyon. So go way, go way up. Way up, right? That's Hollywood sign right there. It's okay to ask Siri. I actually don't have. I could just get off my live, but you guys supposed to know everything. Holly Ridge, Bronson. You guys supposedly know everything, so. Holly Ridge? We're still not at Holly Ridge. If I see the cops behind me, I just pull over, you know? I'm still. So it's a, the other Bronson? Did you guys mess me up already? Holly Ridge? I don't even know where Holly Ridge is at though. I honestly don't know. So you guys said all the way. The Hollywood sign is right there. So if you guys, you guys said turn right on Holly Ridge, I might have. Look, the Hollywood sign is right there. I doubt you guys are all the way, they're all, all the way over here. You guys are giving me, I'm just gonna keep driving. You guys are the ones sending me the wrong way. I, 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 I'm, I'm not driving. Yeah, guys, that's, that's that's how it is. Look, I'm a, I'm a little vroom. Yeah, I know you guys are. I just told you the street. Well, I'm going to have to put it now. 20, 2100 block. So it was actually at the left of uh, Holly Ridge. So now it's a right. To Bronson Avenue.
He's up in the hills. Mods, I gave you the permission to to uh, time out any comment like that. That's not helping. <laughs> because I got the GPS. See how far you guys made me drive. Look, look how far you guys made me drive. It's on Bronson Street. On Bronson. No, Holly Ridge, right? There's no right to freaking Holly Ridge. This should be Holly Ridge, right? Let me see. Is Holly Ridge is just a freaking circle? This is Holly Ridge. You turn right on Holly Ridge. These are all mansions up here. And this is actually just a circle, I believe. Probably gonna lose signal too. Up, keep going up. We're gonna lose signal at some point. Yeah, you guys gave me like the whole ass wrong address. You guys told me to make a right, which is really a left and a loop. Okay, we're going way up. Pretty sure there's a dead end too. Twenty one hundred Hollywood. I already passed it. Huh. Is that DOA? Twenty one hundred. Who's this guy? He looks like a streamer. You still following him? What's up? You still following him or what? He's way up there. It's cool though. We're gonna head back. Where's the OA? Huh? He's, uh, he's right there. Solomon? Yeah, Solomon's there too. Well, I'll just take you guys back then. We got his name, so. I'll just take you guys back. All right, bet. Well, uh, my car dirty as hell. But. <laughs> the OA thinks you're coming. I'm already here. Wait, you, you don't want me to go up a little bit? Nah, dude. Bro, I got a bunch of shit in here. Oh, like, let me just, <laughs> bro, it's all snacks, bro. Just say it, bro. Just say it. Fuck it. Yeah, dude. Just hop in the back, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Why so many people, though? Y'all figure it out. Is this an Uber? Oh, is this me? Yeah. You hop in? Sol Solomon's we'll, we'll right next to us. Just follow guys. Solomon. I mean, we could follow him, still. Yeah. It's even easier. Coach is going in front of you. What? Uh, oh, can you go on the other side? Bro, the cops ain't coming up here. Yeah, they're not coming up here. Just watch out with my bags. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't give a shit. Why is he going up there? Just push everything out hey, of the way. Hey, Solomon, come back. We're going to go down. It's a person. What up? Car in my hand. What the fuck? I feel like I ate some drugs and shit. Wait, wait. Hey guys, let's go and trust it. Are you guys uh, going back down? Hey, we're hitting. Yeah. I, I'm, I was down to follow him. Yeah, let's go. I mean, drive up and follow him if you want. Hey, guys, we're, yeah. we're going up. We're going up. Uh, yeah. He's somewhere up here. Solomon, take off. Oh, we're going up? That that door is open. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. That's not a cop behind I thought maybe he dipped into one of these homes. Bro, Solomon's still behind us. It's not good. Yeah, let's make sure we don't lose Solomon, though, if no, he's following. I, I, you go I back down, him. or is he following? I because if he's hiding and he pops out on Solomon, and we oh, miss him. him. No, I see him. I think he, said he was going to his home, is what he said. 
And then he knew Danny Masterson's place, so he's got to live up here. Yeah. Yeah, he said Danny Masterson's a great guy. Yeah. So what? Right, okay, hold on, guys, stop. Where's Solomon? He's just like, oh, did he go down? I think he might. Okay, go down. stop. Where's Solomon? I'll, I'll, I'm I'll turn. Get off if we're not stopping for Solomon. I'll, I'll, I'm turning. I'm turning. I saw the bike. Oh. Yeah. He's coming. With the car pass. Yeah, I'm just. Gonna... I think he dipped into a house. Yeah, that's yeah. because I'm, I'm afraid. Solomon is right. He, he turns off the light. Yeah. Look, he turns off the light. Okay, there's Solomon. Turn on your light, Solomon. Bike is your bike is what? Let's just go back down, man. Yeah, just go down. Just go down. Look at these at the restaurant. Yeah, they're taking us away from the. They're taking us away from the protest. All right. At I, this point. Yeah, I think we could, I, we could do this all back here. I think he dipped into a house. Okay. Yeah, let's turn around, man. Solomon, go in front, Solomon. Solomon, we're gonna go back down. Stay in front of us. Did Did Solomon get a hold of the police or not? He did, but I don't think they're coming out here. Somebody said he lives at 2488. Yeah, let's, let's not go to his house. Let's yeah, go nah, back nah. down, yeah, cause back to the protest, because he's going to try to say that we're following him to his house or some yeah, shit like nah, that. I saw, okay. I saw him making like a phone that. call, so he's probably calling the cops on us. Yeah. The cops are at the restaurant. Yeah, and at that point I lost him. So. I didn't I, see I, him. I think we went into a house. Yeah. I don't, I don't think he's on the street anymore. I think we went into a house right here. Right here. Cause he know, I think he knew where he was going. Yeah. And he knew, and he knew Danny Masterson's house, so... My detective skills right, I won't calm down. suggest that he is inside one of these structures and that it is not safe to approach. LAPD's on the way up the hill right now. Yeah, yeah somebody so. just told me that too. The, the, as long as we give him the address, they can go to the house. Yeah, we know who he is. Everything's fine. Yeah, we know who he is. We got, we got the ID. We got the white pages. Right, I'm just going to, you know, we're not doing politics here. I'm, I'm just going to hide you from the channel. <laughs> what the fuck? Your door politics? open, DOA. I'm not sure my fat is. Yeah, yeah, that's, oh. that's just, yeah. There's a time for politics right. and there's a time yeah, for squirrel it's business. It's not politics at all. Like, my channel right now is not politics. If you want to do politics, go and do politics somewhere not here. And I just, it just doesn't, it doesn't apply to fucking anything that we're doing. Solomon needs to turn on his light, man. What's yeah, I was going to say, throw on your high beams so that the car is coming up to see them. Yeah, we don't want Solomon to get hit by a vehicle. Oh, I'm dizzy. It's all that uphill. Alright, well, we got our steps in. Um, I'm sure yeah, the cop should be any, any time around that. now. He was not still on the street. He was probably say, oh, well, they followed me to my house. You guys collect a lot. That was your guys' hype right there. Yeah, uh, that was your workout of the year, DOA. Everything was, every, yeah, 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 it was good. I needed a little workout, uh -huh. man. Guys, we're going to be, if the LAPD's really coming up, we'll, we'll run They're into them. They're not coming up. Yeah, we'll run into them. They're not coming up. Probably just chilling at Bronson Street. I'm, I guarantee it if they're here. We have to get the address for them to go up there. Unless you say, yeah, "Oh, I'm a you homeowner." Can do politics, just do it somewhere else. That's all. I mean, I don't care what the fuck. This, this is. I mean, what does the fucking that that person have to do with what we're doing right now? It's so dumb. You're just dumb. Some people are just so fucking dumb with that shit. They're yeah, not here. They, they would have been right here. Yeah, LAPD's not here. I think it's. It's close to come. We'll go yeah, straight ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Everything, everything's, everything's, everything is. We know the guy lives. Yeah, everything is awesome. Everything is fine. No, we're just going straight. Back. To everything him. is awesome. LAPD on La Poubelle, they're saying. Chat starts pissing me off sometimes. It's like, yeah. oh, shut the fuck up. Chat. Bro, they. They gave me the wrong address. They say left. Uh, oh, no offense, right chat. Don't, no. Don't, don't fucking take it personally, yeah. okay? No, some... Don't take it personally. I right. take everything yeah. personally. Cops are at the Pooh Bell. Like, there's like a thousand... Like, 1,300 people in there, and if someone would be like, I can't believe you said that about me. Like, there's 1,300 fucking people in here. Not not everything is fucking about you. <laughs> cops are at no, the Pooh Bell. No, you may not ask about the beeping noise. They probably are. Um, you've never know. heard the fucking beeping noise in a car? It's 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 <laughs> it, it's it's a normal beeping noise. noise. <laughs> Everything I'm is fine. Lord. I'm not gonna find no the cops left the restaurant. <laughs> Let's go. We can call him back and give him the address. <laughs> chat. Like sometimes I just want to turn chat off. Mm -hmm. Like you guys just guys, do your do your interactive form. Now we know by we're Danny 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 Danny. So we saw at Danny's place. We got a tour of Hollywood, too. man. By, so uh, just just hop off right here. Danny took his victims from Lock and Bell right up there to that corner house up there. With the high walls. Funny how they look high walls. Alright, exit. Right right side. Careful, awesome. careful with the car. Right side, Tell me when I'm good. Uh, right after this car. Now. 
Go, go run. Go run, I can't run, man. <laughs> Alright, pictures. Uh-huh. Everything's in the car. Here. I got a cape on. I got a bunch of shit in the back. I'm surprised they even got out. And then, <laughs> yeah, anything so they don't walk, huh? That would have been a long walk. I think I see the cars behind. Is that a cop? It's weird. Loki badass. Guys, I could find anything and any anyone. Just give me the right address. The right directions, really. Directions. That's a cop right there. Look. I knew it. Look, let's see what happens. What the hell is he doing? He probably think I'm over. <laughs> I knew it was a cop, that's why I didn't turn here. I told you guys a minute ago. <laughs> Look. I'm surprised I got less viewers now. All right, guys, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my snacks and stuff. I got less people watching now. All right, see y'all. See y'all in a little bit.